Right, so we are here with our little eggs wrapped up in front of the fire. And we're gonna see we're gonna we're gonna see if any of them are still alive. It's warm water by the way. Warm water. Um but we don't have power. We haven't had power for the last um, 14, 15 hours, so they've just been in front of the fire, so chances of survival at this point are slim. Are very slim. But always worth a try. Right, it's even harder to see them when it's this dark. Oh, that one's moving. Yep, that one's moving. That one definitely moved. Right, I'll, I'll let it warm up for a bit. It'll be, they'll quite like being in a nice hot there. And it helps to soak their shells as well to help them pip out of their shells. That one's moving. I think which one? This one. That one there. Yeah. Oh yeah, so those two next to each other are both alive. There's, yeah, there's definitely a bit of activity going in there, keeping them all swirling around. Oh yeah, that's the same one. Yeah, that's the same one. So we've got no proper power cut situation now. We've got water going on top of the fire. We've got no power, we've got no internet now. <laughs> so the wheels have fallen off the boys. Yeah, they've been told to get off their devices. No more using battery up. We've got limited limited battery reserves. And um, yeah, I might have to take up knitting. And I'm gonna head out. Don't eat my eggs, Twiggy. I'm going to head out and check the animals soon. I want to see Boris. Yeah, I'm going to check oh, Boris. Oh, good job, Hunter. To ride on Boris. I'm going to ride on Boris? Oh. Okay. I want to to the... I've got a bit of flooding. Wow, look at that. There's nothing to do with having fun. Yeah, apparently this is nothing like what's out on the farm, according to Nathan, who's just been out there. But um horses are still down there looking alright. Sunny just chasing them down. <laughs> I'll go give him some hay. But yeah, that dam, I've never seen that dam that high before. Births its banks. All right, I better go assess some damage with the animals. It's very soggy looking Esmeralda. This is what happens when you venture away from your friends, Esme. Right, I'm gonna collect a daily duck egg that's down here. Duck laying in the back of the shed every day. Love my duck eggs. So, I'm just gonna get loaded up with feed and Go and check all our animals. Okay, we've got our soggy Esmeralda and we're gonna go feed the chickens. Okay? Okay. Uh, water's pretty high. Straight over that bank. And ducks don't seem to matter, don't seem to mind too much though. Right, so it's been collecting our eggs from our caravan chicks and putting them in the tray here for our next buyer. Now, the main problem we've got is that um, we've got no way of communicating with anybody because all our power's out, our internet's out. So we can't use phones. So our only method of communication now is our personal locator beacon if someone needs a helicopter. So that's exciting. Um, anyway, I'm one short of a full tray because I cracked one. So that'll be for us. But um, yeah, so yeah, it's getting a bit interesting. 
Um, we found out this morning that two bridges have been washed away, or one's been washed away apparently and one's unpassable. So we've currently got no way of getting to town anyway. Um, and no way of anyone getting out here. So can't imagine our internet's gonna go back on or our power's gonna go back on anytime soon. Um, so yeah, pretty lucky, I suppose. We've got all our own food out here and most of our own food. Um, and we've got a fire that um, has a wet back on it. So we've still got hot water. I did buy plenty of batteries the other day, so we've got lots of batteries for all our torches and things. So pretty well prepared. Got enough food for animals for a little while, I think. Um, yeah, but the farm's in absolute state. So Nathan went out first thing this morning and we've lost all our track out to the back of the farm. Just fences gone everywhere. Um, yeah, she's gonna be a major to try and repair after this event. So, you yeah, never had anything like this here before. Um, so we're all kind of new ground, but we'll be right. Hope no one's worrying about us too much. That's the only thing, because we've got no way of communicating in or out. So we're absolutely fine, clearly. We're just sort of a bit stuck. So but a lot worse places to be. Right, I'm just gonna go and feed my pigs, check all my chicks, bed them all down again, make sure they're all nice and dry, give the horses some hair. Okay, so this is turning into more of a major. So this is our road out. So you can see one, two, two slips fully blocking the road, one slip on the corner up there nearly blocking the road. There's another slip back over the hill nearly blocking the road. So this is about a K from home. Um, yeah, so we can't get out this way. We can't get up to our other block, which is 5K further up our road. Um, there's apparently a neighbor I was just speaking to has seen a house that has, um, uh, there's a big slip right outside one of our neighbor's houses, might have affected the house. We're not sure because we can't get hold of anybody. Um, I've just driven up to have a look at this slip and um, yeah, we're sort of a little bit stuck because not many of us have got tractors with buckets on them. Our tractors at the other farm, um, that was an error. And so yeah, I don't quite know how long it's going to take anyone to come and give us any help here because there's a lot of places further downstream that will be even worse than this um because they'll be flooding as well at least we're high up so the water's causing lots of slips and lots of damage like that but we're not flooding like the downstream areas will be so yeah but we're fine and um we have got lots of supplies and we're warm and the rain, as you can see, has eased off at the moment and the wind has eased off. We're forecast to have more heavy rain and wind tonight. Um, but hopefully we're through the worst of it and then we've just got to figure out uh, how to get power back, how to get our roads unblocked. Might be a blessing that we have forestry at the end of our road at the moment because um, I'd imagine forestry will want to get to their trees. So they will put pressure on to get the road cleared. So that'll be good. Um, but yeah, a bit of a weird feeling being completely cut off from the world and not even able to call out. I've tried to call out, I drove up the road to this um, slip and I've tried to call out, but obviously the networks are all busy. So I um, managed to get a text through to um, someone at Beef and Lamb to let them know that we're cut off and what the situation is. So hopefully um, that message is going to get passed up, but there'll be lots of other people like us. So um, yeah. Just got to sit tight, I think. Try and clear some of these slips if we can get hold of a tractor with a bucket. Um, check that all our animals are okay. Still got to go around, feed a few more animals, bed them down. Um, yeah. Cool. So got a nice dry new horse rug to put on there. So um yeah, things are escalating a little bit in that um just found out my best friend's house has been completely destroyed in a flood. Um further down towards town. 
so um yeah she's a bit of a major storm this one and our farm is not in good shape neither are any of the neighbors we've got slips everywhere um tracks washed away and yeah it's uh nathan's out trying to get some fences back up keep animals in and safe um but yeah no major storm mother has let it get soaking wet and freezing cold instead of looking after it so um, I found it half dead in its run so I'm trying to warm it up in the chicken run yeah it was in that little coop at the end I was in there earlier today why didn't I see it well maybe it wasn't at that point in this state <laughs> right, it's your responsibility now, Nathan. Oh, it's if I could get her out of the way, I'd put it down here where it's a little bit. <laughs> Twin salmon. Snack time. I've just been bedding Betty down. This is Meatball having a breakfast. Good girl. Put some of these in there for you and they don't float away. Let's see Betty. So Betty is due to have piglets next week, I think. And it is all a little bit soggy in here, so she's just had a fresh bed of hay. Good girl, Bets. How are you going there, mate? Happy? Good girl. Good girl. You look a bit cosy in there, don't you? Good girl. I know. I know. You've got a lot to say about it all. Right. This is my hen whose chick was nearly dead. So, they're not the best at keeping her chicks alive so I've just put her in the aviary here on her own a bit of a nest box some food and water we'll see if we can get the chick to survive closing in again now so we've got no power anywhere so um quite hard to keep animals where they're meant to be when you've got no power main track out on the farm. Top tank is our main water supply. That's the main main track out so yeah I'm certainly not getting any further than this. Not good. So these are some of our calves that we've just brought on in October. As you can see they're not very happy about life right now. Pretty cold, pretty wet, they don't like the driving rain. But they've all got big full bellies, we've got heaps of feed at the moment so as long as they keep their bellies full that acts like a giant thermos inside them and keeps them nice and warm so they're sulking because they're not very happy about it but they're actually okay. Um, yeah. A 
I've just noticed that all these calves here have broken into my native planting that I did last winter around this dam so see all my little trees down there so let's hope they're just trimming the grass around them and not destroying all my trees not much I can do about it right now if I chase them out they'll just be back in in two minutes so I could get through here on my motorbike. Easy. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Ah, that's really deep. I know. I think it's ready for I don't know. Oh, it's had a bit. It's had a bit of a drink of water. Oh, is it? I put it under there. Charlie. <laughs> to keep John in shape. Oh, well done, Nanny Bam. Crikey. Saved it. <laughs> what a survivor. She shall be called Gabby. I'm gonna go put her back with her mum now in the warm and dry Avery. You gonna be a good mum? Look, we saved your baby. You're welcome. Some firewood. Maybe. We've got a little bit of a problem, but our firewood has all got very wet in here. So some of it is a lot damper than others. But we've got a fire that we can cook on, which is lucky. So we're just stocking up on some firewood, and we've also got a neighbour who doesn't have any firewood. So we're just gonna go and drop some off to him. So we've now lost all cell phone reception, so we can't send text messages or anything. <laughs> can't let anyone know what's happening. Um, our neighbours just about lost their house. Slips either side of the house. They had to evacuate at four o'clock in the morning. And um, yeah, we're completely blocked in. We can't, we've had a look at the slips, but we can't get the slips cleared. They're just too big. So we've just got to sit and wait for help to come really. Help. Yeah, <laughs> send help. If only we could send this video out. Send help. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Got some real wet stuff in here, don't we? Ow. Good boy. Right, so we've got the generator going charging extension cord running to the house and that's got a fridge and freezer and a big battery bank charging in there and then i am going to get some dinner out of this freezer we're just trying to keep the deep freezers cold and just cycle the generator between the deep freezers at the moment and um, this one leaks like a sieve which is a big old beast so get some bacon out get some slow cooker stuff we'll do some cooking on top of the oven. Don't want all this lot to defrost. We are off to try and get some reception at the top of the farm. I just got two bars. You can't, you can't, you can't call no. and text like forever. It's a big one over there. Over there. 